Hello, fifth graders! How is everybody? Doing well in the beautiful weather as we're nearing the end of the year. Can you believe it's almost June? It has been a unique experience for these past couple of months, but as much as I miss you, I hope that you've been benefiting from seeing my smiling face once a week or twice a week as often as you decide to practice. And I'm very much looking forward to working with you guys again next year. If you haven't already signed up for 6th grade band, make sure that you do that expediently so that we can get you on the roster and make sure you guys are placed uh, for whenever we decide the school will start up again and we get to play again next year. Uh, also make sure that you are continuing your instrument rentals over the summer so that you can continue to practice. And uh, let's get started with today's lesson. We are going to be doing line 91 in our book on page 24. Um, but we're going to review line 87 and we'll probably buzz 86 right now, which is what we'll do first. So take your mouthpieces out. We're going to buzz line 86. I'll even give you the metronome so we have some stability. Oh, one, two, 86. <laughs> Seven, as long as we're warming up. Oh, one, two, three, one, that ain't. Hopefully you guys are catching all those staccatos and not rushing through the quarter notes under the slur. Um, let's go ahead and buzz line 91. So taking the same pulse, we want to think about the eighth notes being twice as quick. So it's going to be one and two and three. And again, we're going to slur all of these by making the adjustments with our lips and just tonguing right after we breathe or at the beginning of each new measure. Okay, so one and two and that ain't... breathe and you need to breathe in there but overall that's pretty solid let's buzz a scale um, we're gonna buzz it a little bit quicker just for the fun of getting our tempo up so let's buzz from here to and ready go <laughs> our concert B-flat scale in the pattern at this tempo, slurred with the arpeggio. One, two, ready? <laughs> uh, let's take the tempo down a little bit and let's play our concert E-flat scale in the pattern. Um, we're going to try it without the octave jump, but if you need the octave jump, then feel free. But I'm going to be playing it all the way up, and we're going to do it a lot slower. So half note, quarter, quarter, make sure you're playing B flat. Add in. <laughs> Concert A flat, we should be able to do this one easily as well, so we remember that we have E flats in this key as well. And let's try this one with the arpeggio in the pattern, just regular tongue. One, two, adding. <laughs> it up with our concert F scale and we're gonna play this one staccato uh, almost to the point of being bopping as short as you possibly can and we can take it in the tempo a little bit lower so nice and low relax that first low G if you're playing trumpet we'll see if you horn should be pretty easy so bop 
Nice and step cut though, and ready, go. <laughs> So keeping the metronome down at this lower speed, we're at uh, 69 tempo wise. Uh, well, let's look at line 91. These are lip slurs, which we've done a few amount of before, a fair amount of. Um, we're going to just run straight through this pretty comfortably. And again, the goal is to focus on making sure that you're changing notes with your lips and your air, but not your tongue. So instead of going two, 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 we want and the adjustments with our jaw and our air speed, okay? Obviously, you should notice that all the notes in the first measure are the same fingering, and then the next measure, they're all the same fingering, or the same slide position, and then so on and so forth. So here we go, line 91, slurring. One and two and ready. speed then great if you need to go slower you can do it slower this would be a different slow tempo three and four and then obviously if you get comfortable enough that you can move your air quicker, you can do it in eighth notes at a faster speed. D, uh, D, uh, three. 